Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Honorable William Samoy Ruto, Deputy President uh, of the Republic of Kenya, the Honorable Gadi Gashagua, the EVP of the European Union, Bardes Dobrovskis, our Chief Negotiators, Dora and uh, P.S. Alfred, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and also our envoys. Today is a very proud moment for Kenya, and I believe it's a very proud moment for the European Union. When the new government took office in Kenya some eight months ago, we found a conversation that was centered around what we considered to be symptoms rather than the virus or the disease. And the conversation was around the topics of macroeconomic issues, matters of inflation, matters of debt, matters of fiscal deficits. And it was our considered opinion that those were actually symptoms, not the virus. That the actual virus was lack of production or the cogs of the wheel of production of our country and our economy had ground to our hearts. And so therefore, we identified three areas or three major issues that we wanted to focus on so that we can get the wheel of production moving again. One of them was uh, reviving our manufacturing, which had declined from 9% of our GDP to 7%. Uh, our foreign direct investment, which had stagnated to around 500 million US dollars, and most important for what we are doing today, our exports, which had dropped over the last eight years from 28% to a low of 10% in just eight short years. And so therefore, to revive uh, uh, the engine of our exports, we set aside uh, upon a journey to do three things on the uh, reviving exports. And we gave it an acronym of AFP. For the French who are here, that has got nothing to do with, the, uh, with your press agency. It is uh, an acronym for access, facilitation, and promotion. And so we said, we are going to go to our shelves and dust off all the agreements that were meant to create um, uh, access for our products. And in this regard, the European Union, being a very important trading partner, was top on that list. In November, Dora uh, from the European Union came calling together with members of the uh, European Parliament. And we said that by 31st of March, we must have uh, entered into the most uh, active phase of our negotiation. And we gave ourselves also a deadline of uh, that year of June uh, 2023 to actually get the negotiation and the agreement settled. I am proud to say that starting here today, we have beat that deadline by 11 days. And that, that is remarkable. And this is significant because this agreement was, uh, this process started nine years ago in the year 2014. So to conclude it in just seven months is remarkable. And I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the chief negotiators, Dora and Alfred, for the hard work, for the honesty. Uh, trade negotiation is, is, is not an easy thing. Somebody said trade negotiation is a, a civil version of war. Uh, it is not that easy. So for us to be able to conclude this um, uh, process that was started some seven months ago, uh, some uh, nine years ago, in just seven months is remarkable. Going forward after this agreement, we are looking forward to a very quick ratification by the Kenyan Parliament and by the European Parliament. We are going to do what it takes for us to talk to our Parliament. I am a former member of Parliament, so I know that space very well. And as we agreed with the counterparts from the European Union, we are going to camp in Brussels. And I want to invite His Excellency the President to also uh, go to Brussels, also being a former member of Parliament, to assist us in uh, talking to the European Parliament, as indeed I want to welcome uh, the EVP to also uh, come and address our Parliament at some point, because we want a very, very rapid and very uh, judicious uh, conclusion of this particular process. 
Kenya believes that multilateralism is a way to go. We are signing this agreement today, not because we are just Africans or we are Europeans, or because we have got the rights by birth to being born in Africa and Europe. We are not signing this because of the economic status of Kenya and the European Union. We are signing this because these are issues that we agree on. These are issues that there is absolutely no dispute, no variance between Kenya and the European Union. And I want to encourage yet again, as I did during the uh, business forum by the European Union, let us encourage countries to get into trade agreements or trade structures because it makes sense for their people, for uplifting their people out of poverty. Let us not bask in the glory of I belong to this and that economic category or I belong to this and that continent. Let us do this because it makes sense for us. This agreement today uh, hopefully will open doors for our other uh, partners within the East African community, our seven countries there, uh, our, our 300 million people there, uh, uh, indeed graduating into the 28 member states of a tripartite free trade agreement which we hope to ratify and operational very soon so that that can be a very good uh, building block between our 28 countries of the TFTA and the 27 countries of Europe as we pave the way for all other African countries within the context of AFCFTA to be able to uh, build on what we start today. Of course, for us to do this, we have to get the support, one, of our respective peoples in Kenya and the European Union, but also to demonstrate that it pays for us to have multilateral regime and, and that protectionism has got no place in the modern world economy. So we want to go work together with the European Union and Kenya to work on a program of uh, early harvest where we align the programs that are there within the European Union with the Kenya Kwanzaa government priorities within our plan so that we can be able to demonstrate to our respective peoples, our region, and our respective continents that indeed multilateralism pays. So thank you very much and congratulations to all. Thank you.